Jim Oberstar, two minutes. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I strongly support this legislation, extending Build America bonds and more equitable distribution of highway funding. Build America bonds have allowed tax, uh, taxable bond access uh, for state and local governments, create new types of investors, and attract them to infrastructure from pension funds and tax-exempt organizations. Uh, this bill also provides $521 million in highway funding for highway and transit for more equitable distribution of federal funding than was under than was ad adopted under the Senate language in the Higher Act. The Senate revisions earmarked funding under two major discretionary programs, projects of national regional significance and the National Corridor Program, for a small select group of states. Under our distribution, uh, we uh, revise the uh, uh, and, and make equitable the Senate revisions which skewed the highway formula. Under this provision, in this bill, every state receives its fair share, apportionment share of the funds available under these programs. Thirty-seven states will receive more highway and transit funding through this modification, uh, which uh, will produce thousands of jobs across all these states, 18,000 jobs. And in contrast to the gentleman who uh, just recently, uh, just before me, said, oh, the stimulus hasn't produced jobs. Every month, our committee has held a hearing. I've chaired for 19 hearings every month to hold states accountable for the jobs produced under this legis under our stimulus program. 1,300,000 jobs, 34,000 lane miles of highway improved, 1,262 bridges repaired, replaced, or rebuilt. 10,000 transit buses acquired by local transit agencies, $409 million in taxes paid by workers on job sites. That is a success.